Hey guys, how's it going? Today, I bring you this 2008 Mercedes-Benz E63 AMG. And this is going to be a full, in-depth tour of the E63. We'll start up to the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, and show you a bunch of the features on the interior as well as exterior. And today, I'm at Independence Motors of Charlotte, North Carolina. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up, let it run. It does come equipped with a smart key access system. All you have to do is keep the key fob in your pocket. As you can see, the vehicle is unlocked. And by the little buttons on the doors, just press it. And then to unlock it, just pull on the handle. Black interior, the Alcantara accents. You can start the vehicle up two ways, by using the standard key, putting it in and turning it, or the way I'm gonna demonstrate here, put your foot on the brake and hit the button at the top of the shift knob. Very nice. It's a seven speed automatic transmission. Leather wrapped with Alcantara on the back. Shiftable. And very smooth. Perforated leather wrapped steering wheel. Nicely styled with side bolster and extensions. And it's going to come the headlights, fog lights, as well as the hazards. All four windows are fully automatic. And let's check out the exterior, shall we? High intensity discharge projector headlamps. Unique body cladding to the E63. Front parking assist and headlamp washers. Has 18 inch painted alloy wheels, signature to the AMG, drilled and slotted rotors, painted AMG brake calipers. It's a full panoramic sunroof. The car is black, so you can't really tell, but this entire section of the roof is all glass. This section of the roof lifts up and out with the little wind deflector that rises up here. And I'll show all that in just a second. Conservative styled hood, LED turn signal mirrors, LED tail lamps, Rear parking assist and quad AMG exhaust outlets. Nice low grumble to them. Also with a rear deck lid spoiler. Aluminum sport pedals. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. The 63 comes with a hand-built 6.3 liter dual overhead cam V8, 32 valve and variable valve timing, produces 507 horsepower at 6800 RPM and 465 foot-pounds of torque at 5200 RPM. Very impressive machine. Very nicely tight built well quality interior with soft padding, nicely padded door panels, leather stitched handle here. All of your power windows like I said, 
three-person memory, all of your power seat adjustments, power mirrors, your power locks are located up on the dash, and your trunk release. You also have a power headrest. Full perforated leather bucket seats. Some of the most supportive I've ever sat in. All of your power adjustments, your fine tuning adjustments for the seats are here. This button right here controls your leg extension that comes out. This here controls your side bolstering. When engaged, it brings them in closer to hug the driver depending on their size. And this is your four-way power lumbar adjustment. Out, in, up, and down. Storage. It does have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And let's go and see how she sounds. You have a rev limiter around 3,000 RPM. Tight doors, tinted glass, has a Harman Kardon audio system. Has a Harman Kardon audio system. Very impressive response. Base response is incredible in this car. In my opinion, Harman Kardon makes some of the best audio equipment ever to come in vehicles, at least in today's market. Very clear, well balanced audio system. Three stage heated and ventilated seats for the driver and passenger your lock, traction control, power sunshade for the rear. The other neat thing about Mercedes vehicles is the power rear headrest release for extra visibility. Dual zone automatic climate control. Goes all the way down to below 54 degrees. Different zones, independent for the driver and passenger. Front defrost, recycling, you can also control the rear temperature from up here. Hands-free Bluetooth telephone. Navigation. Weather band. Relative humidity 49%. The wind was southwest at 12 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.0. Satellite radio, system settings, time, language, different tones, your CD player up above, in drive, put the vehicle in a manual mode, and you can use the aluminum paddle shifters located up on the steering wheel, analog clock, driver info system. Radio controls. Very comprehensive. Hands free phone controls. Cruise control located up here. Control your ride height, parking sensors, spring stiffeners. It's a whole stitch center console. 
Your cup holders. Fully automatic, one touch. Shades are also controlled by the same mechanism. Garage home link and auto dimming rear view mirror. Alrighty. Go ahead and shut it down. And we'll check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? Also padded here. Sporty rear seats. Contoured with the perforated leather and the Alcantara accents. Does have side airbags. Your climate control for the both the rear passengers. 12 volt power outlet. Controls for your reading lamps as well as the sunshade over the rear window. It does have a full power trunk. Opens nice and quick. Plenty of rear space. Also a rear power outlet. To fold down the rear seats, pull on these levers. Another interesting feature is the passenger and driver seat. When you unlock the rear seats to fold, these automatically slide forward so you have enough room to fold down the rear seats. And I'll demonstrate that right now. And then, when you lock the rear seat back down, the interior will beep, letting you know you can move the passenger and driver's seat back to their configuration. Opens the space up quite nicely. Full power passenger seat as well. Storage. Nice amount of glove box space, iPod integration, very nicely crafted automobile. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where that came from. Take it easy everybody.